to Petrol Ped. So today we are back at Hendy Honda in Portsmouth. Now you may well have seen my Honda Civic Type R review for the Hot Hatch series. When I was filming that, the guys here said, look, the brand new Civic, the 2017 Civic, which is behind me, is coming in in literally a few weeks. Would you like to come and review it? And I was like, of course, because this, this is a very, very interesting car. It's not the kind of, you know, mega sports performance cars that sometimes I review, but it's very interesting. It's a real shift up in quality for the Civic, and I'm really intrigued to drive it. There's two different versions. There's a one litre and a 1.5 litre variant petrol engine. We've got the 1.5 litre Sport today. So let's take a really good look around this car. I'm intrigued to see it. Some of the internal technology is superb. The external styling's really interesting as well. So let's get stuck in, have a good look around it, take it up the road and see just how good the brand new Honda Civic is. The new five-door Honda Civic has a lower, more aerodynamic profile than previous generations, offering a sporty and performance-oriented edge. With prices from £18,000 to £26,000 for the Prestige model. A well-laid-out cockpit is full of nice materials and is focused around the driver. Now that's got to be the coolest startup of any dashboard going. The interior layout and design of this car is very, very different from the previous couple of versions of Civic. Um, it's got a really lovely TFT dashboard, um, and then there's this kind of central touchscreen display, which is really, really intuitive. It's got lots of very cool features, so it comes with things like Apple CarPlay, um, and you know, so it enables you to link your phone up and look, get access to all the apps on your phone and use that for audio, which is really, really nice. Uh, and then just really simple use of the sort of climate control, lots of functions on the steering wheel, which is nicely laid out. So just ergonomically, really, really nice cockpit. And the other thing to note on here is the materials, the plastics used, very nice. This is the basic car, there's no kind of mega, um, uh, spec being chosen on this car, it's got cloth seats, um, it does have a kind of a leather steering wheel, but just a really nice quality feel, very, very impressive. There's a huge amount of legroom, both front and rear, with 60-40 split rear seats and class leading boot space. As this is a bit more of a kind of proper consumer car review, I thought I'd hop in the back and there is plenty of room for a large adult. I'm a big, tall guy, really long legs. Uh, I've got my seat, the driver's seat's actually in a position that would be comfortable for me to drive, and I've got plenty of room in the back. So loads and loads of room for four uh, adults. I mean, actually, if you drop this sort of nice uh, central bit back, you could, get, you could get three adults in the back here. Um, loads of room, pretty comfy, lots of nice space. Very, very impressive. There's quite a lot of headroom as well, which the car from the outside's got quite a low sculpted roof line. So it's very impressive the way they've kind of got as much headroom and space in this car. We've also got class leading boot space, absolutely gigantic. So all in all, a very, very practical car. So sitting inside this 10th generation Honda Civic is making me feel very, very old. The Civic first hit the streets the year I was born, 44 years ago, 45 years ago this year. Um, but it's evolved a great deal. And the, the first thing that you will recognize when you get in this car, if you've driven uh, a recent Civic, is it feels very different. The dash layout, the internal ergonomics are very, very different. I think the dashboard and the kind of control and information zone is far more like you would expect. I think the old Civic, for me, was a bit out there. You know, you had the kind of swoop across the dashboard with the uh, digital speedo in the middle. This is a little bit more traditional. However, it's a really lovely TFT screen with a big swooping rev counter that kind of makes you feel really, really sporty. So I like that very much. 
the driving position is very good uh, and comfy. These seats are pretty supportive. They're not sports seats. Um, uh, certainly not like the Type R and so on that I've been driving recently, but they're nice. They're very comfortable. So what I'm going to try and do in this test is uh, is maybe a little bit different from the hot, kind of hot hatch tests and the performance car tests I've done. Is just try and think much more about and if you like to live with this in the real world and and for normal drivers that are after maybe economy, practicality, comfort, um, and think of it from that point of view and. I thought I'd start on the motorway. I am cruising along out on the motorway. The ride is very, very smooth. Um, the visibility is excellent. Nice big wing um, uh, door mirrors. Um, the, the view out the back from this mirror is pretty good as well. So first impressions, very, very good. We'll take the car up to a couple of nice drivey roads I've got. This is the Sport model. Um, it's pushing out 180 PS, I think 182 PS, so it, it's got some punch. Interestingly though, talking to the guys and doing a bit of reading up before I got into this car, I'm not so sure that this will be the big seller. The, 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 the kind of predicted big seller is going to be the one litre three pot turbo. That's got 127 brake. It's got CO2 emissions. I mean, it's got better CO2 emissions than a field mouse. It doesn't, I don't know what it, what they do. So fantastic economy, fantastic sort of uh, green credentials. Now what I do have on this car is adaptive cruise control and lane correction assistance. So I've got that on at the moment. So it's a little bit like the Tesla drove. If I swerve and look like I'm going to be going out of lane, I basically get a little bit of a rumble through the steering wheel. I get a, a notification on the dashboard and I just sort of get the encouragement to go back into the uh, into the central lane, which, you know, for a car at this price point, I think very, very impressive. Um, so some really nice toys to play with. I'm also going to start in economy mode. Um, and even in economy mode, so obviously the car is now optimized for fuel economy. It's still got um, a, a good amount of sporty response. It's quite impressive, actually. Now, the average MPG is showing at just over 42 miles to the gallon. Now, I don't know what the previous driver was doing. This is a very, very new car. It's got only a couple of hundred miles on the clock. Um, so, you know, in, in economy mode, you're going to obviously sacrifice some of the performance for uh, economy. What I will do is obviously turn that off uh, once we get up onto some nice uh, twisty roads just to kind of see what that difference is. As, as I said, this is the 1.5 litre sport model. So it is, you know, it has, I think it's got more power than the kind of original Type R, uh, Civic Type R. So it kind of just shows how far we've come on with these hot hatches now with this, you know, almost ridiculous uh, 250, 300, 350 horsepower. It wasn't that long ago, a really hot hatch had, you know, under under a couple of hundred horsepower. So um, that's what we'll do. We'll kind of um, step up through the various modes and play with some of the toys. Um, and uh, yeah, so far, very, very impressive. I'm sat quite low in the car and that gives it a really kind of sporty feel. Uh, and I like that very much. Um, so that that that's a good thing. Um, and then I have to say something about this gearbox. Honda, you make great gearboxes. This is a beautiful six-speed manual. The gear, uh, the sort of movement between the different gates is beautiful, precise and notchy. And I can heel and toe. <laughs> Brake pedal and throttle pedal are beautifully placed for me to heel and toe, which is quite interesting. Either they quickly watched my video from the old Type R and amended this one, which I doubt very much. Um, but it's a really, really nice positioning of the pedals, which allows me to heel and toe, which is which is really, really smart. And I'd imagine when they do the hot version of this, that's going to be really useful. Okay, nice bit of road, economy mode off. It's a really nice free rev and it's got some poke. Oh, 
Now I didn't expect that. It really is very, very sprightly. And it's got a very nice feeling to it. The steering's really, really direct. The chassis and the suspension's far, far more compliant than that Type R I drove the other week. Um, it's it's much more kind of in keeping with, I guess, what, what a, a, the majority of road users would expect. Um, so, you know, it's soaking up these bumps really, really nicely. But what a turn of speed. It's really, really very pokey, this car. just come up against a feature on a car that I've never ever seen before so I just broke really quite hard to kind of pull over and stop in a lay-by and the hazard lights came on automatically I just think that's brilliant so if you're in an emergency stop situation it kind of just lets other road users know that something's happening but I am very rapidly falling for this car it's such a cracker the, the handling's really, really precise. I mean, the, the suspension setup at the front is really, really impressive. You go through twisty bends and it just sticks to the road. And, and when you turn it in, the front end is like, bang, it's just there. It's really, really cool. And I kind of, I'd heard a few rumors that this car was really, really good in terms of um, handling. But wow, wow, wow. Now, I said a little bit earlier on in my film that the one litre would be the, the sort of, you know, the, the, the big seller, the one that lots and lots of people bought. Now, clearly, the, um, you know, there's going to be a whole bunch of people who want to buy a Civic. The economy and, and, and environmental concerns are very high priority, and in which case they'll buy that car. But if you want a bit more sporty, and this car's still not bad in terms of fuel economy and emissions, this 1.5 is, is absolutely cracking, um, and it's a really, really rewarding car to drive. This road's great for putting this car through its paces. It's got enough pull and torque, it's about 250 foot-pounds of torque, so it's quite a torquey engine. Um, it's got a lot of pull through the corners, it's got a lot of poise through the corners and it's just a real cracking drive of a car. It's, <laughs> it's me at the beginning going, oh, you know, it's not a sporty car. Uh, wrong, Greaves, this is a really, really sporty feeling car. It's absolutely brilliant. Sadly, I've got a Subaru in front of me which needs to get out of the way so that I can give it the beans because this car needs driving. The gearbox, I've mentioned it already, but the gearbox is very, very sweet. Just such a nice notchy change. I love that to bits. And that kind of helps you connect with a car. Um, so yeah, yeah, very, very good, <laughs> really good. The new 2017 Honda Civic. I guess when you've been making a car for nearly 45 years, you're gonna end up with one that's really, really good. But yeah, they've certainly done with that with this car, brilliant. probably way too windy to be doing this but I've kind of pulled over just to have a quick look around the outside of this new Honda Civic. I love this back deck, the kind of twin spoiler effect going on there. This is the sport model so it's got the kind of twin exit exhaust. I really really like the back end. I think it's been been styled really nice. It's quite aggressive but it's quite subtle as well in a way. And then if we wander around the front of the car it's a very sleek car, the kind of roof line's really low. And then you kind of look at the front and it's got LED headlights, which for a car of this class is quite unusual because they're quite expensive options normally. But I love the front end. I think it looks really aggressive um, and just right on it. I just think it's taken the Civic right up to a new level. Very, very cool. As 
this is the sport variant of this new Civic, I should do a 0 to 60 test. So, three, two, one, go. Come on, baby. What, a bit of a chirp? 60. <laughs> I got wheel spin into second gear there. Um, <laughs> that was... That was very, very good, actually. It kind of got off the line really quickly. It's a sprightly car, this. A really sprightly car. <laughs> so, what are my final impressions of this car? Well, I'm very, very impressed with it, I have to say. It's a real, real driver's car. It's, um, you know, it, it's got the power that you need to have a a good time on a nice B road without getting into trouble. You do have to watch your speed though, you can quite easily get in excess of the speed limit. But you can really exploit the car without going ridiculously fast, which I like. Um, the, the handling and the feel of the car is really impressive, the ride quality, the kind of comfort, very impressive. So from all of those boxes, massively ticked. Tech on the car, is really impressive it's got some nice features kind of you know the whole apple car play this touch screen um control center here is very very easy to use it's got some some features that would normally be quite high options so the kind of uh, adaptive cruise part uh, lane assist those types of things um so yeah really really impressive car i think honda are gonna shift these like there's no tomorrow um I need to say a massive thank you to Chris and the guys at Hendy Honda because this car's actually been embargoed till literally just a couple of weeks ago. They only got this car in last week um, and they've let me come and drive it very, very quickly. So to bring such a new car to market to you guys is really cool. So thank you very much uh, to all of you guys at Hendy Honda Portsmouth. Um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed the film. Um, I know it's a slight departure for me, it's not a big sports car, but actually I've really, really enjoyed driving this car. So anyway, um, you've got to give this video a thumbs up if you've liked it. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy the car and drive it back to the dealership. You take care guys, drive safe.